Welcome back, Cult Lords fans. This is Dane. This is JR. And we are back to do another trailer back. react video. This one is The Rock in Black Adam. The Rock. Now. What's The Rock cooking this time? He's cooking up Black Adam. Black Adam. So, um, <laughs> if you don't know Black Adam. I do not. He is a DC anti-hero. Mm. He's actually mostly a villain. But I, when I heard The Rock was going to play this, I was like, oh boy. He's going to probably try to make Black Adam a good guy. And if he does, he's going to accept, uh, he's going to upset all the comic readers. So it's interesting. Uh, let's see yeah. how he portrays this. Yeah. And then we can chat about it a little bit more. All right, let's uh, go. Drop the needle. Black Adam. What have your powers ever given to you? I know nothing. So this is origin. Nothing but heart. Ooh. Mister, I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. But I'm mad. My son sacrificed his life to save me. I was Now, I kneel before no one. That's cool. It's Wakanda. It's all like Wakanda. Is it? Oh, Hawkman. Who's that? Black Adam? That's the Captain Adam or something like that. Yeah, Billy. Heroes don't kill people. Where is this in the time frame? Well, I do. Ooh. What time frame? I don't know. I guess he's dead. My vision has shown me the future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be a no Jet Fighter's line. He's set up. That's get out of here. Oh, yeah. That's gonna work. Yeah, last time I checked, I pushed superheroes out. Or bad guys. Did he just catch a rocket? He caught a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna be nude? His clothes blew off? Whoa. It's a Titanic moment. He flew too hard. <laughs> you know my fresh coat. All right. All righty. Well, I mean, that looks good. We're going to see that for sure in the Dolby Atmos theater. I think this is going to disappoint. Well, I, think this is going to disappoint. I don't know anything about this background story, so, but you've talked about this. Yeah. So Black Adam, he's supposed to be a villain uh, originally, and he tormented the Marvel family. And when I say Marvel, not, not over in the Marvel universe, <laughs> uh, in the DC universe. So if you did you watch Shazam? Yeah. Okay. So Shazam was also known as Captain Marvel. Okay. Oh. And then okay. do you remember in the very last Shazam where he had other friends take on other Marvel sh like characters like Shazam? They all had the Marvel suits. No, I don't remember okay. that, but it's been a <clears throat> so, while. So, so Captain Marvel, Billy Batson, mm -hmm. gets this suit and the powers from like the gods on Mount Olympus, right? And uh, Black Adam gets his power from, like, the Egyptian gods. and But he's mad when he becomes... Yeah, he looks like he's going to be mad because he gets... He's mad. His and son so, killed himself yeah. just so he could survive. So he torments the Marvel, the Shazam, and all the Marvel family, and then ends up being a, a great villain to Superman. Uh, basically almost has the same powers and uh, capabilities as Superman. Oh. There's an animated movie called Superman... Shazam, The Return of Black Adam. Uh -huh. If you want to see how evil and wicked Black Adam is, and kind of funny, by the way, he's also got a sense of humor. Watch that mm. Watch that video, and you'll see. So I'm just interested to see, <clears throat> is he going to be bad? Yeah. I mean, because The Rock loves influencing the roles he plays, yeah. and so... 
I mean, they kind of imply he's like, it. He's probably like, I'm going to be good for all the kids. And right. Stuff. I'm like, please be bad. Please be bad. I know. And they better not, like, every death that he ever causes is going to be off camera. Yeah. Because they threw the guy off camera. He's yeah. done all these other things. They never showed anything. And, yeah. And, but the thing is, DC, usually, those movies, they're, they're serious. I mean, yeah. we've complained about this with Marvel, that Disney's just exerting way too much influence on them. Right. DC tends to, like, do things that are much darker. more serious and Snyder darker. Universe. And, yeah. Joe Joker, right. I mean, you know, Peacemakers has some darkness to it, <laughs> although a lot of comedy too. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's more based on almost like like this is what really would happen versus right. the nice sugary sweet universe. Well, if you want to see what would really happen, watch The Boys. That would it's probably what yeah, would really Yeah, well, they happen, took that but, to the next level. But um, do you watch The Boys a lot? Um, do you like gladiator movies? <laughs> so, um, well, it looks good. I'm uh, seeing it on the Atmos. I will probably go see it in the theater. Uh, I just have course. a feeling I've got to go in with low expectations. So down, then, down low. So then, if they exceed down those low, low expectations, it's down good. low. Yeah. So, what do you think? I want you to go down, hit that red subscribe button. Hit that little bell on the side. So Use you your know. electricity. Yeah. And then like the video so we can move up in the algorithms. But then tell us what you think. Are you excited about Black Adam? Are you excited about The Rock? Can you smell what he's trying to cook here? <laughs> and, uh, you know, are you going to go see it in the theater? Or are you going to wait for streaming and video? Or is it a hardcore pass? You know, you tell me what you think, especially if you're a comic reader. I want to know what you think about this, too. So mm -hmm. we'll hear. Peace out. There we go.